make a Halloween bat. Boo! <laughs> I'm so excited to go trick or treating. Me too. Mama, Mama, I want to go trick or treating. I'm not sure. Yeah, but the moon is out. It's and full. And the ghosts are out. Oh. It's the perfect Halloween day. Okay. Well, only because it's Halloween. Woo Let's go. Wee. We made our own Halloween bat. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. Here's how you make a Halloween bat. First you need toilet paper tubes. Then you'll need some paper of any color. You want the paper to be about the size of your toilet paper tubes. You're gonna wrap the paper around the toilet paper tube. Then you're gonna tape the edges of the paper together so it will stay wrapped around. Then you're gonna draw on your face. I'm going to draw eyes, fangs, and a mouth. I'm going to draw eyes and just fangs. There, I made the face for the bat. Don't put your face too close to the top because you're going to need space for the ears. The next step is to add your wings. You're going to need another piece of paper. Then, you're going to kind of make a fan. You're going to fold on one side and then fold on the other. And then just keep doing that. Just keep folding back and forth until you get a fan. Once you have your fan, it will look like this. There, I made one. Then you fold your fan in half. Then you're gonna take the inside of the wing together. There, I have a wing. So do I. Then your wings get taped onto your bat. Then you add another wing to the other side. These bats might be really good for a Halloween party. I made my other wing. I got my other wing on and it's balancing. One last step, the ears. Just press down the middle of your toilet paper tube. That's the best part about Halloween. You just make stuff up. And that's how you make a Halloween bat. Ooh! How to make a spider web game. We made a spider web game in our room. Here, Xander. There. This is a hard one. Sorry. You can do it. Xander. You got it. You're doing so great. We're gonna show you how to make one so you can play too. All you need to make your own web is yarn and jingle bells. The first thing you need to do is cut a really, really long piece of yarn. Make sure you check with an adult before you tie yarn onto something. Don't tie your yarn to anything that could tip over, such as a bookcase or a lamp. And then you put your yarn all over the place. Over here, here, there, 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 there. Then put a jingle bell on each piece of yarn. Here's how you put the jingle bell on the piece of yarn. It's almost like flossing your teeth, except this with a jingle bell. You take the yarn and you put it into the slit of the jingle bell. It's a little tricky. And sometimes it might come apart like this but you take it and put it back together. And there you go, you have your jingle bell. The more yarn you put up, the harder the game will be. And then you need something to toss into the web. We just made a ball out of these socks. To play the game, you toss the ball into the middle of the web. And someone has to go get it. I'm first. Oh, that's a hard one. I'm gonna go this way, because it's easier than going under. Come on, Daniel, you can do it! Go over. But don't set off the bell. Come on, you can do it. Just reach. Come on, you got this. You haven't run any bells so far. You I only, only rang one. one. Gisela, your turn. Well, this is a hard one. But I bet you can make it. Yes, you can. I'm gonna go this way because it's very easy. Now I can stand. Ah, got it. Almost there. I Come on, you Giselle, can you can do I it. Can do it. Oh. Almost, but that was only one bell. Only for one all the bell. way over there. Thanks. I 
and that's how you make a spider web game. Robot Vest. Be a robot. Beep, beep, boop, beep, 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 boop. Today we are robots. You can play too. Robot Vest. To make a robot vest, you'll need a paper bag, scissors, tape, bottle caps, construction paper, foam boards, craft sticks, shiny stickers, pipe cleaners, markers. Paper bag. Cut it up the middle. Cut the sides of the bag to make room for your arms. Cut holes for your arms and head. Repeat on the other side. And then cut a hole for your head. Can you give me a hand in putting this on? Sure. And now, decorate your robot vest. Twist the pipe cleaner around your finger to make it curly. Pipe cleaners for wires. I'm adding stickers to be buttons. I'm using caps to be the dials on my vest. Here's a screen on my vest so I can show movies. Ooh, stickers for buttons. This will be the power button. The dials will be an on off switch. Print out a keyboard to put on your back. Beep beep boop, beep beep boop. What is your robot name? My name is Boogie Bop. Here's the screen on my vest so I can show movies. I'm RoboKid5000. Robot dance party. <laughs> goodbye, 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 goodbye. This is how you make tutus. We made our own tutus. And we're going to show you how to make one so you can play too. This is how you make tutus. You start with a piece of ribbon. Then you lay it out on a table or a flat surface. The ribbon has to be long enough so it can tie around your waist. We have to tape it down because it can move around when we're threading it. Then you need some tool. This is tool. Tool is something that's a netting that they use to make tutus. You don't have to use just tool. You can use different stuff if you don't have tool, like newspaper, ribbon, wrapping paper, and fabric. You have to start with a long piece of tool. You have to fold the tool into even parts. This is the loop end. Put the loop end under the ribbon. Thread the long end through the hole. And then you kind of tighten it. And then you just keep adding tool to make your tutu thick. You can use pink, blue, orange, red, any color. I love tutus because when I spin, all the strings just pop up and it looks like they're just breezing in the air. I love to dance. It's my favorite thing in the whole wide world. It's looking really good, but we just need to add a little more to make it more fuller. 
You can push the tool down to make it all together. I'm gonna add a ribbon. I have this flower ribbon. You do the same thing with the ribbon that you do with the tool. You fold it in half evenly, slip it through, then you pull it through and pull and ta -da. Once you have as much tool in your tutu as you want, you're done. We're taking off the tape from the table. Here, Here it, it is. is. And then you can just use the ribbon to tie it around your waist. And that's your tutu. Magic Wands! Magic Wands! To make magic, you need to make a magic wand. The materials you need to make a magic wand are wooden sticks, ribbons, tool, stickers, jewels, tape, yarn ball. First, you tie your tool around the stick. Then you twirl the tool around the stick. I'm adding a piece of tape to hold the tool in place. Yarn ball. I'm going to add ribbon to my stick. I'm going to tie the ribbon in a knot. Now it's going to stay like magic. Then I keep adding lots and lots of ribbons. Tool. Add all different color ribbons. The more the better. How do you like mine? I like it. Now I'm gonna add some stickers. More stickers! The more stickers, the better. I'm putting a row of stickers all the way down the wand. Let's make magic. Ready? Ready. Sparkle! Wow, we did it! Our magic brought us penguins. What will your magic bring you? Yarg, Captain Gooey Marshmallow Legs, I found me some treasure. Me too. Should we take the loot? Take it? Why not make it? That's a great idea, matey. We're gonna show you how to make it so you can play too. To make your own pirate treasure, you need a lot of glue. You should pour it into a bowl with a spoon. We're using gel glue so it makes it more shiny. To make your treasure sparkly, add glitter to the gel glue. We decided that we wanted lots of different colors, so we used small bowls so that we can mix them in different colors of glitter. We made red, silver, gold, and green. These look so cool. Now, you can just mix it together. It's so gooey. Yeah, the glitter just sticks right to the clear glue. Once you're done mixing, we're using ice cube trays to mold it. I'm using a star one. We're making little batches of treasure. It's so glittery and cool. Yo-ho-ho! -ho. This is good pirate treasure. When you're done, you can put your treasure somewhere safe to dry. Outside in the sun on a warm day works well. And then you wait for a long time. Like probably at least overnight. Better have some pirate jokes ready. Hey, <sighs> Captain. Yeah? Where do pirates go to get a haircut? I don't know, where? The barber. <laughs> hey, Captain. Hey, what? What's your pirate's favorite fish? What? Swordfish. <laughs> Check your treasure every now and then to see if it's dry. You might have to pop it out of the ice cube tray and flip it over to dry on the other side. 
and once they're done drying, your pirate treasure would look like this. Arr! Pirates we are, pirates we be, we now have our treasure, so let's go to sea! Tiny Princess Crown! Tiny Princess Crowns! The materials you need to make tiny princess crowns are toilet paper rolls, decorating tape, scissors, gems, hole punch, and a headband. Wrap the decorating tape around the toilet paper roll to really show off the color. I like it. Cut out triangles to make your crown have points. Make sure your parents know you're using scissors. Pretty. Now I'm punching holes in my crown for my headband. Give the hole punch a good squeeze. Put gems on your toilet paper roll to really make it sparkle. Add some dazzle and some gems. Put the end of the headband through the holes. Slide your headband onto the crown. Put it on. Your tiny princess crown is ready for the world. And now we're ready to play princesses. I'm gonna be a ballerina princess. I'm gonna be a superpower princess. Dance party. The penguin wants to be a princess too. Okay, let's give him a crown. <laughs> <laughs> he looks so adorable. 